Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for joining to our webinar. Uh, can you hear me? Please press plus. Type plus or minus if you can hear me, or if not, just to see the... Hello? Anybody hear me? Okay, Jan, just you. Is there anyone else, guys? Hello, 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 hello. Jan, I think I have some problem with my camera because I can't uh, can't switch it on. People just type in the chat, yes. Okay, guys, let's start. Uh, thank you very much for joining. I hope that you hear me. If not, uh, so then I can't see that uh, any pluses. I'm going to say to people, uh, guys, there's the chat. So if you will, if you will press under the chat, you can see there's like a small uh, triangle. So you can press it, and then you can read chat. But uh, I, I also I have some problems to uh, switch on my camera, so uh, sorry for that. But uh, today it's not about me; it's about uh, Jan, uh, who will be our uh, webinar speaker. Um, I'm glad that I met him uh, just uh, recently; it was uh, like a month ago, and uh, he he just so passionate about this project that. Uh, uh, today he will share his vision about this project with you guys. Um, let me uh, let me introduce. So it's a Jan uh, Jan Nova. Uh, please, you can uh, press your webcam and oh, cool. Yeah, I see you. Okay, so Jan. Hi guys, it's really uh, it's, I'm really glad. I really really hope that you all uh, hear me really well because as Arnold asked you to put plus or minus in the chat and uh, no one actually responded. I assume it's just because the, maybe a Citrix is a new new program for you, or I'm not quite sure uh, what is really happening. Um, can I just can I just check once again? Can you do that or not? Because on the right hand side, uh, one on your on your device screen, you have this chat. So if you press the chat, and there's you can you can type a plus or minus, uh, plus for you can hear me and minus for not. Uh, if you're not gonna do that within uh, five, four, three, type plus. Skyway Invest Group, yeah. But unfortunately, no one no one is hearing, and uh, I hope I hope the people hear me. I hope if they are here, there's a 21. As I can see, there is a 21 person who is hearing me now. And and I hope they all hear me. So if maybe something to do with Citrix. Anyway, never mind, guys. We need to start. Thank you very much for Armas to introduce me uh, as a um, uh, as a new speaker. Introduce me to the uh, world of the Skyway, uh, giving me an opportunity to today to deliver to you my research, my findings, my passion, and uh, what I um, know about the Skyway for until now on. So I'm just going to share my screen with you, so you all can hear and see what happened here. So here we go. That's perfect. Right, guys. For those for those who hasn't who are first time here, and I I assume it's quite a lot of you because you can't see you can't you're not putting me there. I can hear and I see you. Okay. So perfect. Uh, so for those of you who are participating the first time in this uh, in this webinar, I would like you to welcome to the world of the Skyway. And uh, besides that, I want to tell you that you're on the right way because if you're not on the right way, then I'm not on the right way. So uh, my objective is today for you to make you believe what I believe, and when uh, Mr. Unitsky make me believe what he believes. So. 
uh, it's going to be a lot of beneficial maybe information. It's not going to be more about the uh, technical investments or technical engineering sources of stock. It's just it's just purely uh, research. The first part is going to be a more than an icebreaker. Then second part is more going to be a technical part. But in overall, it's going to be a good fun. I hope you all are going to enjoy. Uh, it's going to be really interactive. It's not going to be boring. As you can see, I'm I'm quite uh, emotional person myself. I never I never monotone. I always like to raise my voice and then be quiet and then be angry and then be smiling. So I hope I hope you're gonna enjoy it. I uh, hope you're gonna like it. So information there which is given, whatever it, whatever it is, is it news or anywhere, information is free. For those people who still pay for information, is either top secret information or information which is uh, you have to must be a really wealthy person for, for to pay for it. We are here in a Skyway today, so let me give you a topic which I'm going to cover. I'm going to cover the decade of the technological revolution throughout the, throughout the hundred years. Hundred years, just uh, just imagine the hundred years. Hundred years is such a small recap, such a small time scale that even my uh, my grandmother, she's 94 now. So since the first TV was created until now. She's still alive. She sold us. She sold out everything. So the tech technology and evolution, it goes so fast. It moves. It's, it generates. It's, uh, it goes shows uh, new things and all and all about. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about all that things today in the same time. Transport evolution. How we developed from having nothing to become wheels to then to not having planes, trains, ships, and whatever we have. Uh, until and then we're going to talk about the great and genius inventor, the man from the big M, um, Mr. from Mr. Anatoly Unitsky, and his little baby, the Skyway, because it's his. For the past 38 years, it's his. So and the benefits. So guys, let's just go further with uh, all the technology and innovation. And uh, while while talking here, I would like to ask you a questions that. Um, have you, have you have you ever thought? Have you ever was thinking about uh, questions about the technology? Why does it move? Is it harmful? But the technology movement is so is so fast. How harmful the technology evolution draws to animals, to nature? How dangerous is current transport? Is our children will be safe? All those kind of questions you they they kind of pops out in your head and and. Uh, but you never you never think about them. You just you go your day to day uh, basic routine. You do your thing. You have your job. You have your nine to five. You're going to work. You're coming back. You just watch your TV, doing some stuff, trying to find yourself, trying to find your way. Have you ever was thinking to do something good, do something which is going to be beneficial? Yeah, we're all thinking about our future generation, future kids. Do something good for them. Give them. Nice upbringing, even education, and all those sorts. But have you ever th was thinking to do something good for yourself? Do be more happier. We're all tied up by the, our responsibilities and stuff. But still, still, there is a. And today we're going to talk the, about the opportunity which we can give to you in order to make your future happier. Technology to be with in a step with the technology, move with the technology, and let's do it all together. Right, just let's have a look at our slide. Yeah, just just quickly imagine, just to quickly for uh, uh, do a quick recap on um, in terms of the television. Look, in 19 in 1928 between 1928 and 2013, when the in 1928 the first. It was called the first uh, motional image box has been created, which has been delivered, delivering some kind of a motion images. Until the year 2013, when this LED, 3D, smart TV, 4HD, and all those sorts of fancy words have appeared, the time frame for that is just 85 years. So just just try to try to think that 85 years the time frame when my grandmother was born, in that, in, that, in in it was happening at that time. It was it wasn't there, and now when the you actually you see you sit and you see the image pops out on your screen, how magical, how insane! I'm sorry for the using those those words, but how insane is the technology? How fast is the movement? 
is 85 years in between in between that first motional image and until until the year 2013. What's going to be next? Now we have all these curved TVs and all these fancy 4K digital digital things. But we're here not to talk about TVs. It's just for you an idea how fast uh, technology could move further. So uh, I want to I want to make your attention to the uh, uh, to the screen to the second TV where is a little um, a little uh, little uh, little screen of the truck who is stayed on the railways. By the way, that's the first polygon which was created in 2001 by uh, Anatoly Linitsky, and that's his first experimental place where he was where all the string transport has been tested. Yeah, he's a truck, he's on the rail, looked a bit looked a bit funny. However, there was still it was tested. It was tested by that time. So and at that time it has been it has been sponsored by Boris Gromov and uh, Alexander Levitt. So by the year 2009, when at that time President Dmitry Medvedev has supported the project of Unitsky's project, just a week after, just uh, uh, the group of unknown extremists demolished, destroyed, and took everything with them and drew away for uh, in different side of the uh, country. No one could find. And instead of Mr. Unitsky, instead of being upset that his polygon, all his work, has been demolished, he decided to put the company to the crowd investing. So now, for the to buy, for your for for a percentage for your money, you can buy a percentage of the company. But why? Why he does that? It's just because he doesn't have enough money. No, it's not. It's just because he wants he driven he given by this idea idea which he wanna to took further, which he wanna take. He wanna involve you. As long as this idea will gonna happen, you you invest in the in his idea which is already happening. At the end of the at the end of this uh, presentation, the Armands will show you the the actual video what is happening. And at the beginning, I think he showed a little before there was a 555. I guess he showed the a uh, little uh, little video of the uh, of this um, uh, Echo Techno Park when it's already happening. So what, all we're we're gonna do further, it's already happening. So but let's just let's just come back to our slides and TVs. Ten years ago, the the sound system, the sound system five years ago, the sound system just two years ago. What's next? We're gonna let's talk about the phones. So just 38 38 years before the television, the first motional image box, there has been the Graham Bell, uh, the beautiful inventor who created a phone. It, at that time, it called distance uh, distance communication system. And was uh, what's funny about that, and I still I still I'm not uh, I'm not an engineer, I'm not uh, uh, working for the for the phone companies. However, for me, I'm still amazed by the by the thing by the fact that you think. In the 1890s, they created how to send your voice from one place to another. Fine. But just 38 years after, they created a television, which could not only send voice from one place to another, but send a motion, an image, a picture. So the technology moving so fast that it's just, it's just absolutely insane to, to capture that everything in the, at the same time. So right, fine. We, we, uh, I'm, uh, we talked about too far from uh, from actual uh, from the subject. If we're going to come back to our phones, I can remind you that just 83 years after the first phone has been created, the Craig Cooper created from Motorola. He created his first mobile phone. What they could expect? What they could expect more? That it's wireless. It's at that time. Now we can, if we look back to these Motorola's and all these phones, we can call them a weapons. That's a funny thing. But uh, still, he created uh, 83 years after the phone. So what's what happened in another 43 years or 40, 42 years? What happened after? We all know. We all know that it's going to be a smartphone. It's not necessarily an iPhone there. But uh, it's not about iPhone and it's not about the Apple company. It's about the Android. It's about the the smart smartphones, the phones which allow us to read the books, 
to watch a TV, to our calculate, to uh, to a listen music, to navigate us, to make to to interact us. It's a toy. How many, so many things in one just a, in one just a little, just a little thing. How how much time they took before to take that phone, take that take, take that mobile phone in seventy three is just forty two years to create create a a, a, a smartphone. When you see uh, when you see uh, the watches, what they do, this watch can do everything. And it's all the same. Besides that, the the little thing like a watch can can count your calories, uh, can uh, send you a messages. You can make a picture. So you can you can uh, speak with the phone, see each other, make a selfie. Like all those all those fancy things is the same. But it's just a little. It's just a small. Besides that, for the fact, the Apple Watch costs even more than the Apple uh, the Apple uh, the phone itself. I did my research. So all that for you is just to show you how uh, how fast the technology moving from the place to to another place from to a decade. So what could you could be the next next part? The next part. Well, I just I just put that uh, write it down here. Yeah, the founder and CEO, the David Edwards, he created the Senti. Senti is the app. I'm just gonna show you myself the app on the Senti. Here we go. That's the app. That's a Cinti app. So what does app do? You can buy an add-on, and you can buy a doc. So basically, if you send a message to the doc, the person who have the doc he receives the message. But the message what what he what you send is a message of smell. So basically, this thing Cinti is send the smell. Now it's year 2015, and now we can send the smell. What after? What's going to be after? Imagine imagine the fact you're uh, you're going. You're just uh, you're a man and going to the going to a shop and decide to send your girlfriend a smell of the flower or say do you want those flowers do you like how they smell and she's sitting at home yeah yeah I like yeah and buy me those ones and you buy her flowers because you just send them a smell it's funny it's it's comic it's joke but still it exists it's called Ophon Duo so in 2015 David uh, David Edwards he sent um, a smell from Paris to New York which is which were in 2015. But what's going to happen after? I'm just going to go through quickly. Uh, I brought it down a few uh, technological, uh, few technological uh, dates. What were happening in uh, in 1883? Carl Benz invented his first motor car, motor wagon, his self-powered engine. In uh, 1894, Wolf Müller created his first motorcycle. In 1900s, when Zeppelin launched his first successful airship. In 1903, Rudolf Diesel created what? Of course, he created the diesel engine. Henry Ford created his first mobile car. In 1939, first engine created uh, engine aircraft, the Henkel. In 1969, first flight of the Boeing 747 to commercial airlines. It happens just in 1969. Just think about all these all this, uh, air, air, uh, air companies, uh, Boeing, uh, Qatar, Emirates, uh, EasyJet, Airflot, um, AirTrans, all those, those, those things, they happen just now. Our fathers, they born at that time. My father born at that time when, when it's all that, all that just started happening. And now it was it was evolution of the transportation was happening so fast that since 1969 all, all airplanes started to fly. In 2002, the Segway, the self the self powered balanced transport. You know the Segways. They sort of they have two wheels and you have to press, you know, lean further to go a little bit further, lean backwards. How it happens in 2002 and in, in 2004 the first maglev trains happens. That's just a little fact for you to understand how the evolution of uh, of transportation is the same as the evolution of technology is moving further. Let's just have a look at the this beautiful, amazing car, uh, the sort of the three wheels car by Carl Benz we have. Instead of the front wheel, you have a little thing you can turn it left, turn it right. And you have a little gear on the left. You have all these small sorts of uh, um, the, the wheels around the engine. 
he wasn't the first who created the, a kind of a movable um, sofa or movable uh, transport, but he was the one who created the first uh, self-powered engine, an engine. And to use an engine, you have to use a power, and power is used to use from the coil. We're going to talk about the, uh, the bad things about the coil and good things about the coil a bit later on, but now just look at the fact. They created this first um, engine wheels and uh, mechanism with the chassis, and then they created with the cabin. They decided that they need to they need to protect them from the uh, from the rain, and they uh, created car with the roof, then the car with the windshield, then the full expanded car. And now in 1960s, 1950s, 1940s, now they they move further until we have an amazing. I don't know, the Maseratis, Bentleys, Bugattis, Ferraris, all these beautiful sorts of car which you, which everyone wants them. Everyone, everyone just, just would like to have these amazing cars. Everyone would like to have them. And you know what I, I can say? That if you want to have them, you can have them. As we, to, to come back to the topic about the information, if you know how to use it and you know how to apply it, then you're going to be successful. And it's not about it's not, this presentation is not about being successful or being not, but still, it's just, it's just for you to think that what's here, what we're talking about, we're talking about the transfer, is a future thing. So, the, uh, of course, of course the, the questions which I ask here, that do you think that technology will end in that? It's never, never end. It's always moving further, it's always changing, and it's, the time becomes shorter, shorter, and shorter. So between the first phone and the, and the mobile phone is 83 years. But between, between the 80, well, from the second phone, mobile phone, to smartphone, is just 40, 42 years. Now, it's another 15, it's shortened by 50%. So now, in another 15 years, it's going to happen something which you're not ready for. Let's just, let's just wonder, let's just come back to uh, our transport and let's have a think. What? the transport uh, can do and we all was dreaming now now because the technology is moving so fast, technology is moving further, we're not thinking, we're not surprised anymore by things, we're not surprised by flying cars or we're not, because we're not surprised about those things, first of all because there, it's, uh, it can happen and it will happen. So my research, what, the, what my research does, that Juraj Bacilic and Stefan Klein from the, uh, the Slovenian, one of them is a sort of the ambassador and a guru and a self-motivational person who have have a teams out. He has such a charisma that he he uh, sort of attract uh, attract so many people. And besides, he's a marketing guru. He was there giving the uh, presentation about how to do the marketing, how to develop uh, the businesses and stuff. So he have, he was a kind of one one really, and he's still a kind of really clever guy. When uh, George, so it was Stephen Klein I was talking about, George Vachulik, uh, that was an engineer, that is an engineer. So when, when the Stefan and George, they, they collaborate with each other, they came up with this beautiful idea. This idea is Airmobile. What this Airmobile does? Well, of course, it's with an air and a mobile. From the, first, from the front, it looks like a normal, uh, normal Toyota Prius car, really nice shape, very sleek, dual tone, white and blue nicely looking, nicely shaped. So from the side, from the front, it's still looking like a car, from the back is looking like a plane. Of course, because it's air mobile. If I think I think some of you might have seen that, but well, I haven't. So for when I was amazed when I saw that. That's beautiful, sleek design, beautiful, nice wings, nothing nothing really what's not needed there. No lights, just a little antenna on the roof. Nice back propeller, nice seats, nice casual sporty seats with the gear and with the wheel, with both from the plane. Actually, the screen, I think this car screen more looked like a pilot screen. However, it's still, it's still uh, a car which can reach up to 300 kilometers per hour, but on the, on the sky it can reach up to 700 kilometers per hour. It can go from the, from the Earth. Uh, to the uh, to the sky by uh, by reaching the speed of 130 kilometers per hour. So all those all those things I'm telling you uh, just in order for you to think how technology is moving further. We we can be a part of it right now. 
we're given a chance, we're given an opportunity to be a part of it, to be a part of this technology, to be a part of the good thing. So just let's 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 just think about the current transport. Where is the planes, our ships, and the trains are happening? So uh, when I was doing this research, um, I came up to the the fact that uh, for the past uh, decades, the numbers of fire needs has increased really considerably. Fire needs in the engines. These fires are now burned in car engines, in ships, in airplanes, in heating furnaces, in atomic power stations, in boiler rooms and in factories. A number of the harmful, harmful and very poisonous substances and elements in emissions have become considerably more dangerous than in the past decade. And that's, there were so many, I was um, I just uh, going to tell you the couple of few that I, I even, I even when I was finding that, that it was the, the thing, the fact that all these harmful substances, they happen everywhere, they happen in the water we're drinking, in the food we're eating, in the air we're breathing. So when you take your uh, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, family in the park, you're going to, uh, to enjoy your time and you're thinking that you're having a lovely fresh air, no, unfortunately it's not. You're not having this lovely fresh air because there's so many engines are burned around. I'm not even going to talk uh, about um, uh, the rockets or uh, the multi-engine, uh, multi-engine like I have on the screen, multi-engine planes, which from the time when they go from one place to another, they burn ozone layer on the size of the small European country. And that's what we're breathing. That's what we want. That we that do we want that? Do we know? I'm not here to tell you that be a look ecological, go in Greenpeace. No, it's not about that. It's just about the fact that there is a generation to grow. There is our kids. There is us. And demands and the needs for the more roads they are increasing every day by day. So I'm just I wanted to uh, tell you about the harmful substances. How they call the. Um, Elements like nitric oxide, carbon, sulfur, benzapyrene, chlorine, polynuclear hydrocarbon, and radio radioactive isotopes. Can't even pronounce those words, but they're scary. They're scary, and they're happening everywhere, and they're happening every day in the car, in the ship, in the uh, in the parks, and everything what we do, we just we just take them to us. So I was doing that because I live in UK, and I was doing this research. I was. Uh, uh, thinking about uh, uh, to do a research uh, to how much road accidents were happening in 2014 in UK. So by that by that time, uh, uh, in 2014, 1,775 people dead, 22,000 seriously injured, and 160,000 mildly injured or injured in overall. So overall, is 197,000 people are suffered from the road accidents. Is the road accident are safe? There, you can buy, you can you can go and buy an installment the car for a hundred pounds, a hundred pounds a month. The car costs nothing, and uh, uh, thanksfully for insurance that they are raising that no one, not everyone, can pay that insurance. That as we say in uh, in England, uh, it's not about the car; it's about the insurance, which is a good thing. But still, imagine the there would be. A great idea by someone who de could decrease amount of this accident by 95 percent. Amount to decrease amount by 95 percent, that would be uh, one 100,087 or 89 people who will be still okay, who didn't suffer from accident. Those people, those 100,000 or those uh, 1,775 people who, who died. How many businessmen, how many creative directors, how many engineers, how many wealthy and good and, and positive people that were there? And now would be, they all would be alive there. And it's in our hands now to be part of it, to help, uh, to help the world more, more increase in level of safety, in level of security and stuff. Let's just uh, go a little further and talk about... Uh, that if you want 
to be a part of it. So it's now because now for you it's a time. Uh, it's a time to to be a part. Because uh, what Skyway offers you is to be a part. Why are we talking about the ecological system? It's not just for you to to explain you how good it is, but it's just to show you that the uh, the Skyway trying to think about the positive thing. And the Unitsky itself and the Skyway is baby is generate on a positive, on a good thing, which is already happening. I want to come back, I want to remind you that it's, it's not just the talks, and it's not just on the screens, on the pictures, on the three-dimensional nicely surfaces and nicely presented as a beautiful cho chocolate box. No, it's not. It's happening right now. And at the end of this presentation, you will find out about the video. So uh, what, you, what Skyway is all based about the natural gases, about the wind generators, the aerodynamics and aero balance will help to reach the speeds of inevitable inevitable speed. So uh, it, it's all about the solar panels and all those sort of generators. So and it's for you, and it's you who can do it, and it's you can be a part of the a part of the system. What you need, to, you're not going to be only remembered in the history as a good person. You also be a wealthy person. Because the Skyway is it's about investments as well. I'm not the one who's going to tell you about the investments, but I'm sure that my future will be secured. I hope your future will be secured, which will be a more happy and a wealthy. Money doesn't uh, doesn't uh, bring you happiness. However, how many the the money will create your happiness? Yeah. So let's just have a. Let's stay right where you are. We'll just wait until the end of the presentation because Armand will show you, uh, as I mentioned before, the video about what we we're, were talking about and all the sorts of things. So let's talk about the greatest, this great wise man, the man from the from the big M, and I call him wise man because uh, the uh, Anatoly itself, he in just 1977. Already 38 years ago, the professor Nitsky he knew that there is a time for the fundamental change. Anatoly, who is a great inventor, he's a scientist. He's a, a chief designer of Unitsky string technologies. He's a director of two projects of United Organization, member of USSR Cosmonautics Federation, out of over author of, of over 140 inventions, 18 books, and 200 scientific articles. How much wiser could be this man? How many things, what can else you can say about the man? He followed his dream since 1977. 38 years he was following his dream. I want to follow this man. I want to follow his dream. Because now he gave me an opportunity to be a part of his dream. He want for him, it doesn't, he doesn't want to keep it for himself. He gave. That's why now you have this big opportunity to be a part of the team, to be a part of Skyway. You can have your shares and be a part of his dream. Just follow him. Just think that you investing not only in your future, you investing in the idea of the wise man. And someone, uh, someone told me just recently that uh, Jan. Um, um, we can, no, no, she, I, the lady didn't know my name, but the lady came up to me and she said, uh, the old uh, patient people, uh, uh, they have a beard. I said, why? She said, because it takes you a lot of patience to grow the beard. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's good to know. So I'm a patient man. But if I think about Anatoly Unitsky, that's the man. That's the man who showed with, and proved with all his, with all his knowledge all his trying, testing, failures, 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 and then now it's a rising, it's a rising generation, and us who can support him, and that us who are going to be besides doing something good, we're going to be wealthy, happy, and rich. So besides Anatoly have all those sorts of uh, things on his back. He also have degrees in railway engineering, have a degree in, insta, in infra, infrastructure construction design, and he also have a degree in medicine. 
the person with the three degrees and uh, how many exhibitions and how many things else he do have. So let's just let's just talk about uh, Anatoly's uh, Anatoly's uh, baby. Let's talk about the Skyway. Let's talk. Uh, it's not and all the and this picture which you see in front of your screen is not just uh, it's not just uh, about the beautiful, beautiful, nice, uh, nice three-dimensional pictures behind it. It's about transportation which is building now. It's happening right now. And while we're talking, while we're having this uh, webinar, someone there is building. Someone there have a, uh, uh, already digging it, and it's already happening. So let's 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 talk. Uh, let's whoever the first time here. Let's let's just talk quickly about the Skyway. The Skyway is a stream technology uh, transportation system where which were created by Anatoly Unitsky. Uh, it's an intensive development of the fourth generation of stream technologies. Skyway is not uh, uh, only uh, the project of 21st century. It's our future. It's future for our kids. I believe with that in that when I've been brought here by Armand, I was like, oh my God, that was that's what that's what I was needed. That's what that's that's what I want to do, and that's what I want to do, and I will do that until until then. That's what's going to happen. And you know what? I will be rich way I will be already wealthy and rich way before that's gonna way before that's gonna happen. Because maybe if you've been told before, if you're not, the the shares which you buy from the company, they assume to be on a market already in May 2017. So in May 2017, you already can start to be, you know, can start to plan the good things. More than 30 years and several hundred uh, hundreds of millions of dollars have already been invested in order to bring Unitsky's project to life. Just imagine a light, lightweight train which is situated on the elevated, elevated rails, tensioned wires are stretched with the, with the power of 100,000 of tons. The great aerodynamics which is spoken earlier, it gives an opportunity for the transport to reach up to 500 kilometers per hour. So I leave uh, I live, um, I'm from Estonia, so I'm Estonian, there is my parents. So now for me to get there, popped up in that train, three hours and I'm there. So but it's not, it's not about that, it's just for you, uh, for you to uh, find out the sort of the, how the benefits of it and uh, how beneficial it is to us. Anyway, the, the, the actual ride for you is going to be seven times cheaper than the conventional train. The level of, the level of safety will be 2,000 times safer than, than traveling by car. And the energy of the fuel will be 10 times less. So it's not only fast, it's not only reliable, it's very safe. Let's just uh, have a look for the few, uh, the few benefits of it. Yeah, the, it's above the ground, which help to save the Greenland, which is, uh, which is animals, which is greens, because it's, it's just happening it's above. Does not destroy soil or vegetation, because the green soil brings for us the oxygen, which we're breathing. It's, it's powered by uh, wind and uh, solar generators, which is a really good, low expenditure cost, fast, reliable, and safe, easy access to new territories. So uh, the fact what we were talking about the easy access to new territories is just uh, uh, imagine you you live uh, in the capital, the rent, the cost of living, and uh, uh, everything is much more expensive. So what it's for example, I live in, in London. I live in London, where it's, which is really busy city, and the traffic and everything is quite really busy, and rent are super super high. I could live in actual uh, the Turkey, which is 500 kilometers away, and I could work in London. Because and travel time will be just an hour because those 500 kilometers per hour. Just think about it. Think about the benefits of it. Think how beneficial, how sweet the idea. And now you can be a part of it. So let's just have a look at the high speed. That's a little sample of of the uh, of the rail of the with the tension wires of uh, which. 100,000 100, tons tension wire and these beautiful 3D images which 
have a look, just think about the benefits of it. This is up to 500 kilometers of speed. The passengers, up to 500 bus, uh, persons in one, in one train, the up to 100 tons cargo with the 10% radian. Passengers, up to 1 million passengers per day. Just, that's going to be, that's my favorite, the city mount. Look how comfortable, how beautiful, how, how nice is the image. Is happening right now. Is building up. The last image. That's so funny. That makes me makes me really happy and laugh. Because on your on your on the image on the left, as you can see, the elevated trains, and at the bottom, what's happening is a traffic jam. If you leave, if you be in, if you live in Moscow, or if you live in London, or if you live in even Tokyo or Shanghai or uh, all those those cities, you know what's been traffic jam. Because between the time, there are certain times for the traffic jam. I'm just going to talk in, in overall uh, people in London. So you have a car. So to travel by car is comfort. That's your car. To travel by car in a peak time, it's going to take you two and a half hours. When by train, it's take you 15 minutes by underground train. But still, in an underground train, between 5 and 7 at daytime or 8 and 10 uh, in, in the morning, you just don't need to move in the underground. The people move you. you just they go squash you and just just move along with you. So that city mounted skyway, that's going to be a new generation, new thing where it's going to be the fast. Everyone can sit, and it's going to be so many of them that everyone will feel comfortable. And it's gonna that that particular one. It's going to have a reaching the speed of 150 kilometers per hour, carrying 100 uh, 100 persons, a cargo up to 10 tons, and a gradient level of 15 percent. The volume of high-speed transportation passengers at rush hour is up to 25,000 people. Cargo up to 1,000 tons per day. Net cost of traffic two times lower than the net cost of the underground subway. Three times the, the tram, five times the, the more monorail. How beautiful is the cargo ones? The cargo ones is the uh, the ones who brought the minerals. We can bring you minerals from the places which is which are not reachable by normal conventional uh, trains or transportation. It can go deep in, in really deep cold Siberia, or it can go in really really hot safari. Doesn't matter. It still it still can carry a lot of good minerals. So they're not gonna die. We can transport the mineral minerals which is which are dying on the winter to somewhere to put them somewhere hotter where they're gonna still be alive. And reaching the speed of the 120 kilometers per hour, capacity of 20,000 tons. The volume of freight transportation up to 250 million per year. All those things, what we talked about today, is just for you to think. All what all what we captured from the beginning, uh, talking about technology to now, is just for you to think how fast the technology. The transportation is moving. You can be now a part of it, and I'm not convincing you because uh, I already I have I have my shares. I'm I, I'm the I'm, but I just want you to think about the benefits for you, for your children, for the future. I want to thank uh, really much Amas for giving me this opportunity to present this presentation today. I hope you guys. Um, uh, like the hope it wasn't too boring for you, so I hope to see you next time. I would like to invite uh, back Armand's, uh, uh, Armandus to uh, sort of to show you the further presentations and further video. Uh, Thank Dan? you very much. Yeah. Dan, do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So it was uh, it was marvelous. Um, I would like to ask guys uh, press pluses minuses if you enjoyed the webinar. Uh, if you find something new, uh, please feel free to ask questions if you have, because I see that there's a presentation too. Okay, yeah, guys. So we did uh, we recorded this uh, webinar so that all of you will be able to get uh, record. Perfect. Um, would you like to see more uh, Jan's presentations? Uh, because he will be the main speaker. Uh, and now I would like to ask uh, if you have any questions. So by some reason my uh, video doesn't work. 
I don't know why, but um, let me just try again and then and then. then. Um, as Jan already mentioned, uh, guys, so here we are not just talking about the technology uh, which will uh, be in a year, maybe two, so uh, everything what he said, it's already uh, taking place in uh, Minsk. We are already uh, building uh, this uh, transportation and uh, also like uh, for the next webinar so we will prepare some information about uh, London because here in London there's a lot of people who are interested to have this uh, transportation uh, even here in the United Kingdom um, and at the moment so we have a couple of people who are working on that. Uh, okay, what I tell about the projects in London, so at the moment um, I have a lady uh, her name is uh, Ruta. I think that she will be also one of the speakers uh, very soon. And uh, at the moment, so she's, uh, uh, she's doing hard work uh, to get, uh, de to deliver this information to those people who are responsible and who can uh, make decisions. Uh, and uh, at the moment, uh, in Middlesex University, uh, this project was um, presented uh, to one of the, um, how you call that guy, uh, like a, one of the main um, lector and uh, he gave um, to, to, to the students, so he asked them to do the research about the transportation, about the innovations, because he's very uh, he's very into the um, eco um, eco houses, but uh, the eco houses that is a like a next step for um, uh, like uh, to expand the land because at the moment like uh, as uh, Jan already mentioned, all of us we are living uh, in a zone one, two, three maybe, but if you are living in a zone five, so that you have some problem, uh, you have quite a lot of. Uh, like difficulties to get to work in the time, or you need to uh, wake up earlier because uh, the, you know that that that's making quite a lot of um, I would say uh, problems uh, in the daily basis. Uh, that's why uh, this transportation is very interested interesting even for those people who are uh, now um, making decisions what to uh, what to make. Um, in London and not only in London but also in UK. Yeah, I see your message. So John R. Jacobson, I see your messages. So just uh, uh, I already I already answered that we will send uh, all of you. We will send this uh, recording um, recorded webinar. It will be sent to to your email. Okay, other questions? Any, any questions? Dun, dun, dun. Did you see my message? Okay guys, um, there is a Ivisa, Ivisa Plantec, yeah? So I think uh, I spelled your name correctly. Uh, the question which is asking, I want to know, is the 2017 May date for sure for shares go to market and where? Uh, to answer the qu this question, so what we can uh, say that uh, the company has plan uh, to finish uh, this Eco Techno uh, Park, uh, which is now building in uh, Minsk, uh, by 2017. But uh, at the moment, uh, the latest news shows that uh, Roadhook uh, that is the ex uh, transportation minister from Australia. He was visited. Uh, he was uh, visiting uh, Unitsky's uh, construction bureau in Minsk, and he was amazed of the things what he saw there. And uh, I also I'll give you this information. Uh, I will send. Uh, uh, I will send you if you will provide me your email, or better, maybe I will give you just the links uh, here, or uh, you will see it. Um, you will see it in our group. Uh, please uh, feel free to ask questions uh, to those people who invite you to this webinar. 
uh, because today we will not going to cover topics about the shares and about uh, how you can participate because all of you have someone mm, uh, someone who introduced uh, introduced to this webinar uh, and uh, can you tell a little bit about eco smart car uh, guys about the eco smart car so we are now working on a project uh, but at the moment I can't say you um, uh, for sure that it's going to be in uh, Hyde Park or somewhere else but uh, as I mentioned that uh, this project is very interested for those people who are now uh, sitting and uh, have some power in uh, government. Um, I will not gonna uh, tell you until I will see exactly some uh, paperwork uh, which allow us to start to raise money uh, to fund this project because um, uh, today about that Echo Smart Car so that is a, like a um, we are calling the Steve Jobs strategy when he came into the market with the iPods not with the iPhones because at that time as uh, Jan uh, already told you and explained about um, uh, about the develop, uh, development of uh, telephones so if uh, Steve Jobs at that time uh, came to the market with iPhones so then uh, definitely he will be um, I don't want to say that word yet but he will be uh, dismissed from this market uh, but uh, what he did so he implemented this iPod uh, as a toy and uh, after a while, so when he sold about 700,000 uh, iPods, after that, so he just asked uh, his customers, uh, would, they, uh, would they be happy if he will put their internet and uh, connection like uh, to the phone. Uh, that's how he uh, uh, went into the market, and we are doing something similar. Basically, today, uh, for those people who understand the... Um, the pressure from existing transporta uh, transportation uh, tycoons uh, we also we understand that and uh, we are not saying that uh, they will welcome us uh, you know with uh, open hands but uh, what we are uh, what we are doing now it's we are um, uh, we are going uh, to the market with a toy and that toy will be eco uh, eco velo car and that eco velo car will be raised above the ground and it will be uh, placed on a string uh, that string technology uh, created by Anatoly Unitsky. That's how um, that's how we will uh, do the first steps towards um, the implementation of uh, this transportation. So any other questions guys? John, maybe maybe you have something to add, so feel free to join. No, no, I'm just I'm just uh, reading the the actual questions of people because I was when I was doing the presentation, I didn't have a, I didn't have the chance, unfortunately, to uh, uh, look. Yes, guys, you will get promotional code today, and um, I I would like to just um, uh, just show you that. Everything what uh, John mentioned uh, about the uh, this transportation, uh, which is building in uh, Minsk and uh, uh, all that uh, information which you had. So we will uh, show you the quick video uh, about uh, the construction works uh, there. Uh, you are also you you will also be um, able to see those videos on uh, our uh, YouTube channel. Um, I will give you the YouTube channel just in a second and also this uh, webinar will be recorded and uh, so I, was, I want this original PowerPoint. <laughs> All right, so John and Jacobson, so he, uh, he wants original PowerPoint. I think John that is... Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, that, that's, I was actually looking for the, actually the Scott, some guy called Scott. Scott Root, he asked me uh, the presentation that he can make it in Norwegian. That's that's fine. But I, I will I will definitely I will definitely have a look. I'm not I'm not quite good at this at this uh, Citrix program to be honest. So that's why for me it's uh, quite difficult still to. Yeah, manage. don't worry. So there is a uh, we have a person who is recording this webinar and I'm recording it as well. So 
Um, All right, that's perfect. All right then. Then uh, for me, I would like to thank again for everyone for listening, and I hope I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you more and more in future, and uh, hope you guys, uh, you guys enjoyed it and uh, brought up something for you. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't technical. It wasn't really a, uh, about something really. Uh, 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 which you can take, uh, which you take and implement. It was a kind of a recap of the case of the history, as I said before. So I hope you enjoyed, uh, and it was kind of a little icebreaker for me to you. And uh, for following presentations, we're going to talk more in detail about different sorts of things. Armand, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone who attended today and who saw me today. Thank you for your time, guys, and be safe. And I wish you a good time. Uh, let John, 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 John. Wait a minute. So let me show the last uh, last video. Yeah. I, I have now screen. Can you please pass me this? Uh, yeah, certainly. This. Okay, guys. Just to uh, just to show you that everything what we uh, what we discussed today. So it's also here on the YouTube channel. Construction works have started on the Eco Techno Park territory. Today, the site is being cleaned for the preparation of an anchor support ditch. Bulldozers accurately remove the fertile layer of soil, which will later be returned back because, as it was planned, the park will be developed with blossoming gardens and flower beds. Uh, this is the preparation of the ditch excavation for an anchor support foundation. We will have the zero kilometer right here. And from here, where we have the station with an anchor support at the zero kilometer, the track will go over there by one kilometer and 100 meters. And then we shall extend this track by 15 kilometers next year, and it will become a high-speed track, where the speed will reach up to 500 kilometers per hour. To clean the site, in preparation of access roads, rigging and assembly works, the Skyway company have invited a contractor that will ensure the performance of the whole scope of works. Today we have here with us the Director General of the contractor company, who organizes all the construction works. The schedule of construction is very close timing. Every day is planned by minutes. So as not to slow down the rate of works, and at all Unisky solves all the issues right at the site. This is our concept scheme. Right here you can see gardens. Here is the cargo track with the backward chart. Now I understood everything when I saw the picture. I photographed Here is the anchor spot. And this is the urban system you see a circular one. Here we have a rigid structure truss. And here the rails, only 10 millimeters high. But the spans are 50 meters long. And the track surface will be absolutely straight. The vehicle will pass, turn around, and will come back at the end. Builders really face a complex task, but they admit it as interesting. All the things we have been invented by the engineer and designer and developed in design departments is now transferred in a real project. The task for the next week is to excavate the ditch, remove the black soil, make temporary access roads, and place concrete slabs. Then we shall start how much works, and I think Approximately on the 5th or 6th of September, we shall accept the first contract. All right. I think we shall keep to the schedule. Uh, it will be difficult, but we shall do our best. We'll do our best. And I hope you will manage. Okay, guys, that was the video, but it's quite old because this is the latest video which is uh, translated to English but uh, also let me show you uh, which we have at the moment and I will give you all this access to Uniski's YouTube channel uh, and you will be able to show it to your people as well. There is also some Slovenian TV about Skyway where uh, this guy, so his name is um, Viktor Baburin, he was there and he was uh, presenting, uh, representing uh, Unitsky's uh, project in Slovenia and they found uh, a lot of uh, uh, like um, 
a lot of connections uh, and there is the video which is already Значит, расскажите, что сегодня происходит на объекте, какие ведутся работы, какая работает техника. I do apologize about the Russian uh, Russian language because at the moment like we don't have this uh, video translated, but uh, the idea is just to show you uh, from the first video and to this video so what is already been done. Занимаются строительством. Сейчас мы укладываем бетон фундаментальками опоры. Для этого надо было вырезать котлован, расставить арматуру, взять подготовку грунта, залить там тощий бетон, установить палубку, разложить всю арматуру. И сейчас уже заливаем бетон. Бетон марки B30, это прочность 300 кг на квадратный сантиметр. Окей, so uh, there is just a video to show you that everything what we uh, what uh, me and Jan are talking here it's not uh, it's not any more actually I actually found the video I found the video of um, yeah, the rod hook with the units oh, cool. can you can you please can you please uh, share it and show it yeah and, sure. uh, in the meantime I will send um, uh, promo code for uh, today because all of you guys uh, who participated, so you are able to get promo code, which will give you uh, one percent, this uh, like a more uh, for that package uh, which you will be um, buying. Um, but can you pass me the screen? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm giving. All right, that's perfect. All right, guys, just gonna show you the the video is as well as is in Russian. However, it's so good that I came across to it. So let's have a just a little looking. На территории экотехнопарка продолжаются строительные работы. Еще недавно это была заброшенная, неухоженная земля. За столь короткий срок участок превратился в полноценный строительный объект. Безусловно, чтобы воплотить все амбициозные планы компании Skyway, предстоит выполнить еще очень много работы. Но и сейчас уже есть что продемонстрировать нашим гостям из Австралии, руководителю компании Rodbook Associates, Robo Kuku и его помощнику специалисту по маркетингу Марии Квачок. Там у нас двухуровня трехэтажные, потому что это площадка уже скоростная, где можно разгоняться, а потом еще 15 километров вот по своему скоростной дороге. So you can you can switch off. Guys. Yeah, Ivan. Yeah, I'm just uh, trying. Uh, please, guys, can you tell me? Did you get the pr promotional code for today? Just press plus minus if you get. If it works, doesn't. Okay, so. Tatiana, did you get uh, did you get the promotional code and does it work? John, I'm waiting for for your answer. Okay, perfect. Um, in uh, for the last, so what I would like to say uh, to all of us, uh, everything what we are doing today, um, just about like a one and a half year ago when it started. Uh, it was idea. It was idea, nice pictures. So at that time we didn't had the web page and even the uh, like uh, to participate and to send money abroad. So it was very very difficult. Um, what we have today? So today we already have um, construction going on. Uh, 
if you uh, if you at least uh, spend maybe five uh, ten minutes maybe about an hour so you will be able to see um, how fast uh, everything is growing and uh, de developing this uh, technology um, please uh, spend your time just uh, it will be good for you uh, and also let's do guys together uh, and make uh, make the thing happen uh, together because that is how we can do it and uh, if you if you enjoyed the webinar please press plus uh, if you don't no problem so we will uh, we just learn learning so every time we will be um, improving ourselves but uh, without you we will not going to be able to do it and uh, next webinar we will have next week. Um, after that, we are planning to have at least two webinars a week. And uh, but that de uh, that depends on 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 the growth of uh, our attendees. Um, and let's uh, let's just uh, uh, let's just bring at least one person with uh, with you uh, with you next time uh, for the webinar. Uh, if you have any questions, so I'm still here to answer. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Artyom and John and everyone who is there. Um, Jan, one more time, thank you very much for uh, your research and uh, like, uh, how you explain it to us. Uh, I'm, I do apologize that my camera didn't work, so it was working before, but uh, after that something happened. <laughs> no worries, next time. Right, thank you very much, Armand. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening there. Thank you.